Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cash dumping and today I will be cash dumping $1,035. But before I get into this video, I have some happy mail that I wanna show. So I have a package from Sassy Peanut Budgets. I will link her Instagram and her shop down below in the description box. So I already opened up the package because I couldn't wait to look and I was so excited. So I can't wait to show you guys everything that she sent me. So this first thing is this cute little pouch which I've never seen anything like this before and it just opens up like this so cute you can use this when like going to the bank or put like pens in there so that is so pretty I love the color of this um let's do these sheets first which I thought were really fun and um, I like the pink on here so these are a5 budget sheets so there's a paycheck breakdown I got two of those, a spending tracker. Oh, which is nice because you can check mark the cash or card spot. I like that, I really like that. A cash envelope breakdown. And I got three of those, which are always super helpful to have. So I love these. Thank you so much for sending me these. I can't wait to put them in my planner and use them. Next, let's open up this cute little card she sent me. And when I saw this, I was like, no way, that is so cute. It's a vellum, like, saving challenge envelope. So cute. Don't go big in my heart. That's so awesome. And it's for $140, which is totally doable for, like, my budget. So I love that. That is so cute. Um, so I hope you guys can see the whole note. She said, hi Aya, I wanted to send you this happy mail because you are one of my favorite YouTubers for budgeting and cash stuffing. I love watching your videos. I find calmness and peace when I watch them. I hope sometime in the future I can have my own YouTube channel, but right now I'm nervous, lol. I included some items that I have listed on my Etsy. I do make custom challenges and budgeting items. Some of these items I sell, but I don't have listed yet. I also included a gray money pouch, or you can use it for pens or Sharpies. XOXO Sassy Peanut Budgets. Thank you so much. That is so cute. I'm keeping this. That is so nice. So, um, all the things you see here, she said she doesn't have listed yet. So, stay tuned for that. And honestly, just start a YouTube channel. Like, I promise you, it seems scary at first, but once you do it it's totally worth it so thank you so much for this that is so cute I absolutely love this so she sent me a bunch of goodies in here so here's her card I will have her shop and her Instagram linked uh, in the description box so pretty some binder charms I love that. This one's my favorite. It's a kitty in a coffee cup. How cute is that? I'm gonna have to put this in my binder like right away. I just don't know which one yet, but I'm gonna take it out. So when I do my cash stuffing, I can put it in there. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's so cute. Next, I have some like placeholders. So this is in the bank and you can like write your amount, which is super cool. 100. 500 and 1000 always need some placeholders so thank you so much for these you are very special oh that's cute this is a saving challenge for 175 dollars i love the material of this so cute and you can just check them off as you go these are like cardstock challenges happy mother's day you can set each flower to be worth however many dollars you want that's cute month ahead I need this I mean I have one but you can never have too many because I want to eventually save up like it's like over a little over two thousand dollars that I need to be one month ahead and I want to be like three to six months ahead so um that's so cute I love that tax prep oh my gosh I need this for my um side business like tax envelope that's awesome roll and save oh those are so cute so this is like customizable too which is nice <gasps> star notes i love this this is so fun i'm going to actually oh, this is so cute i'm gonna use this because i do have some star notes so maybe i will fill this out um and like replace 
the one I have, but I do have a lot of star notes already. Maybe I'll just like fast forward that part of the video, but I love this. This is so cute. Another like customizable one. I could put this in like my classroom envelope. So thank you so much for sending me all of these. I literally love them. Go check her out, you guys. She is so sweet and um, yeah, I really appreciate this happy mail. I can't wait to put this kitty charm in my binder. So I'm going to do that in a second, but I also have some happy mail from Jasmine's wallet. So she sent me some envelopes and um, I'm super excited about these because I love the quality of her envelopes. They are so good. So I got one for budgeting because um, I want to get more like cash budgeting stuff. I have a lot. I know I don't need to get anything, but I wanted an envelope for that. I have one for road trips and then prescriptions because I'm always mixing like my health and my medical envelope. I don't want to have my prescription money in it, but I'm always pulling from there because I don't have an envelope for this yet. So I needed this. I also have one called sick day because whenever we're sick, like I don't want to take money out from groceries, which is what I always do when we're sick. So I wanted a separate envelope for that. Life insurance. Um, I don't really know how to explain it, but basically I'm paying for life insurance now. So it's like something my mom already had, but like additional or something. So I'm paying for that, um, which is like, I mean, it's not that expensive, but it's kind of exciting because it's like I'm adulting. I mean, I already was, but um, I feel like that's like another step. And then I have vet visits for my cats. So I will be putting these in my binders really quickly because I wanted to just show you guys on camera. And of course, if you don't wanna watch this part, you can just skip through it. So the budgeting envelope is like my personal one. So this is my personal binder. Uh, these other binders, me and Logan share. So I'm gonna put this with my planning envelope. And then that's it for my personal. Um, next is road trips, which is going into sinking funds. So I'm going to put it towards the back. So I have Japan, the beach, travel. I'm just going to put it back here behind travel buffer or maybe in front of it. But actually Disney, I want to put behind. So road trips is going there. Let's see what else. Vet visits will go in here for now. So let's put that, actually, um, I don't know if I should put it in here or in my other, like, binder. We'll wait on that. I, I can always take this back out again. Okay. In here, this is one that we, like, pull from more often than sinking funds. I'm going to put prescriptions Okay, behind health. I'm gonna move some things around. So I want pet care in front of health and toiletries. So toiletries I'm gonna move here. Health, this is household. So then pet care, health, prescriptions. Um, sick day is gonna go in here by like rainy day. I mean, we don't get sick often, so it's gonna go in the back, but that's just there if, you, you know, when we need it, because I really don't like spending grocery money on additional stuff because we're sick. Like, that's not what that's for, so at least for me. So that's sick day vet visits. Um, we don't take them, but I feel like we should. So I don't know which binder to put this in because this binder is for like things we pull out like often. I'm just going to put it in sinking funds for now. I can always move it around later. And then obviously the life insurance one is going into my bills binder. So I'll just put this, actually, let's just put it, I have like all my travel envelopes here. Anniversary, wedding, Black Friday house. I kind of want to put it with pet emergency, but I don't want it so far in the front, but oh well. I'll move it around later. I don't want to like waste your guys' time on like during this video. 
haven't even started my cash stuffing yet. Okay, life insurance is going in my bills binder, which we will put, I forgot where I had this on my spreadsheet. This is renter's insurance. I guess I could put it with. So renter's insurance is quarterly and life insurance is monthly. So I'm just gonna put it in front of that. And there we go. So let's go ahead and start with my wallet for this cash stuffing. Oh man, I had cash trackers to put in each of those, um, in each of those envelopes, which I forgot to do, but I will do that as I go through my binders. So my wallet is empty, there's nothing in here. And if you saw my last like kind of Happy Mail unboxing where I set up my new wallet, I set that up, but I literally have not had time to transfer everything over and actually start using it. So I have this still. I've been so busy with my Etsy shop and I have not had time to just do like the little things. So I will like transfer everything over when I can. I just, it's not like on the top of my list right now. So spending is getting $25. This is for like going out to eat and that's all for my wallet. All right, next, oh, and I, I forgot. I have this money off to the side that's supposed to go into this cash stuffing. So I have $30 from my rent payment. So they, my rent is $1,180, but they've only been charging us $1,150. That $30 is supposed to be like for my cat, but I, for some reason they haven't been charging us. So we are going to, I always like roll that over into month ahead, but I'm gonna put that in a different envelope today. So let's start with my bills binder. Oh, and I forgot to put my charm in. I'm so sorry, guys. This video is like all over the place. Rent is getting $395. So we have one, two, So now in rent, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred, eight fifty, seventy, ninety, nine, ten, nine, thirty, nine, fifty, nine, seventy, seventy five, eighty, eighty five. So nine hundred and eighty five dollars in rent so far, which after my cash stuffing, it will be the full payment again. Next is car payment, which is getting two hundred and seventeen. So we have 1, 200, 10, 15, 16, 17. So now car payment has 1, 2, 3, 400, 10, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3. 433 in car payment, which is fully funded. Car insurance is getting 120. So now in car insurance, we have 100, 200, 220, 240, which is also fully funded. Internet is getting 56. So 50, 55, 56. So now internet has 50, 100, 5, 10, 11. 111, which this one is also fully funded which is awesome because I just paid these bills for April and this is already the amount for May. So these bills are all due at the end of May. Um, we are going to stuff phone, which is getting 36. So we have 20, 30, 35, 36. Oh, and that's all that it has. Okay, and that is going to be all for this binder. Next is this one here. So we are going to stuff household, $25 for household, and that's all that it has. I'm trying to get this up to like 100, but it's just super hard to do that. Pet care is getting 30, and that's all that pet care has. 
This one and household are two envelopes where we're either like running it down to zero or going over budget. So I probably need to be budgeting more, but sometimes there's like no room in the budget to do that. Health is getting five. So now health has 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28 dollars. And we are going all the way back here to groceries, which is getting $10. This is for Logan when I'm on my trip, only for a week. Um, my trip is for two weeks, but we will have like grocery money for that other week. So um, I'm stuffing this. It's not going to get up to like $125, which is what we budget for one week of groceries. Um, but that's okay because he's only eating for one person, obviously, so he won't need as much. So groceries has 20, 30, 35. Okay, and that's all for this binder. Next is sinking funds, and the only one getting stuffed in here is going to be dental, which is getting 100 and also the $30 from rent, so $130 for dental. This is for Logan who needs um, dental work done, so we're trying to save up as much as we can for that. It's going to be very costly, so dental has one, $200, $250, $270, $280, $290, $300, $5, yay, $5, $10, $11, $12, in dental, which is good. Okay, that's all for this binder. Next, I'm gonna go into Logan's binder. And I'm missing money. I was supposed to have a five for my envelope in here and a five for hair. Oh, I'm so sorry, Milo just jumped onto my desk. Um, Yeah, I don't know where that is. It might be in my other pile for my cash stuffing because these are all star notes okay we'll just skip that for now and if it's in my money pile like right here i'm filming my cash stuffing after this if it's in here i will just stuff it in the next cash stuffing but we're gonna move on and do 52 envelope so this 52 envelope challenge is from lux designs she does not sell this with a box. This box is available on Amazon, uh, but she does sell the 52 envelope challenge tracker with all of these envelopes. So I will have that link down below in the description box. If you use my code IAPLANS10, you'll get 10% off your order and I will get a small commission. So please consider using my code if you purchase anything from her shop. So I'm filling in the first envelope and I budgeted $6 for this but I found a $5 star note, so I'm putting that five in my star note collection, so um, I couldn't put it in here. So we're doing number one, which worked out perfectly. So $1 in here. And that is all for 52 envelope. All right, and I forgot to put these in as I was going, so let me just do that real quick. I had life insurance and vet visits road trips And then prescriptions. Sick day. And then we're gonna go into my personal binder because that is where my star notes are. And I need to stuff those and put this cute little kitty charm in. I'm gonna put this in my personal Binder. So budgeting is getting a cash tracker. Let's put this here. This is so cute. I cannot get over how cute this is. I love that. 
Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Oh my gosh, that is so perfect. Okay, I am going to grab that Star Note tracker. Oh my gosh, these are all so cute. Okay, I'm gonna put that in my classroom one. Okay, so Star Notes, yay, this is so exciting. Okay, so let me put these in here first. So I found a $5 star note from like the cash I pulled out for this cash stuffing. And then um, these are all from my dad. So he found these, which is so awesome. So I'm so excited to add these. He's always finding me star notes, which I appreciate. So um, that is awesome. I'm going to set these to the side though. And Okay, we have quite a bit here. So let's add these. My collection is growing. So these are all of my star notes. If you don't know what a star note is, it has a little star right here instead of like, normally it has a letter. These are for like, these are like marking the misprinted bills or something like that. And you can go online and see how much like your specific bill is worth or how rare it is. So. They're just super fun to look for and collect. So I have a whole stack of these. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna keep this in here so I know like how much I have. So I just added $27. So let me add that real quick to this. So 288 plus 27 is 315 okay I'm going to color this in so let's start with 100 so I have one so I have this mild liner that I'm just going to use okay for 50s I have two Twenties, I have one, two, three, four. Okay, tens, I have one. Fives, I have one, two, three. And for ones, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. that's so cute I can't wait to fill this up so this is my little star note tracker I love that so I'm thinking about honestly I might have to um, remove this matte vellum envelope because you're not supposed to stuff a whole bunch of bills in these types of envelopes because they can break so I probably should move it over to a plastic zipper envelope here very, very soon. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I love that. Thank you so much for sending that to me. That made me so happy. So that is all for, I'm going to put this in here actually. Um, I will like fill in once I stuff more, but that is all for this cash stuffing video i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did please give this video a thumbs up oh my gosh i just i can't get over how cute that is that is so adorable i love it please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and i will talk to you guys in my next video